Mars is a desert planet. It contains a lot of dunes. You can find them almost globally distributed from the north to the south poles. They are predominantly accumulated in impact craters. And the biggest difference between the dunes on Mars and those on Earth is the color and the composition. Um, whereas the dunes on Earth consist of quartz sand, the dunes on Mars consist of basaltic sand. This is a material which almost exclusively um, evolves by volcanic processes. And that gives us the hint about the origin of that dark material on Mars, that is that it's probably volcanic ash. We can find such dunes only on Earth in very few places, just like Hawaii, New Zealand or Iceland. Today we know for sure that Mars has experienced much warmer and wetter periods than today. And we had rain, we had snow, we even had rivers and lakes that could have lasted even for m several 100,000 years. Average temperatures are around minus 60 degrees Celsius, whereas in summer the maximums can reach up to uh, 27 degrees Celsius and in winter at the poles it can be minus 133 degrees Celsius. It's because the atmosphere is very thin, it contains almost completely of CO2, it's um, less than 1% oxygen and very, very few water vapor. That's why we do have clouds, but they consist of CO2. And the predominant weather phenomenon on Mars is not rain or snow, it's just the giant dust storms that can last over months. The wind today is on Mars not as strong as it used to be in former times. However, we do see transportation of materials in the form of dust storms and we see dunes. And uh, we just now that we have the high resolution data, we see small ripples in a centimeter scale changing on the dune surfaces. Um, that is a very strong hint that those dunes are currently active. The um, power of the wind lasts um, over very long time scales. The accumulation of such a big dune field can last over more than 100,000 years. We don't know that exactly. The erosional force of the wind can be seen in the form of yardings. Those are elongated ridges on the surface of Mars and they can be seen as remnants of an eroded surface that has been shaped by the action of the wind and the, and the particles that have been transported by the wind.